I am going to leave the prime factorization up because I think the prime factorization is important. However, for those of you that you know, really understand this, I'll also um, go over kind of like the shortcut that I like to do for these types of problems. However, ladies and gentlemen, if you have a problem where we need to simplify, you can always do what we did last class period and do the whole prime factorization um, until you really understand. So when you write in the prime factorization, remember the square root means what number is multiplied by itself, right? Well, this is really, the prime factorization is just another way for us to write that problem. Okay, it's just broken down into the product of the prime terms and prime factors. So we know we can take the square root of pairs of numbers. The square root of 2 times 2 is just 2. Square root of 2 times 2 is 2. We can't take just the square root of 2, so then I move to the x's. Square root of x times x is x. Square root of x times x is x. And the square root of y times y is y. All right. Then we look at what else, what could I not take the square root of? 2. So that's going to have to remain under the root. Then I just look at this and I say, well, 2 times 2 is 4. x times x is x squared. So my final answer is 4x squared y times the square root of 2. Now, there is another way of doing this without doing the prime factorization, which I can hope we can get through. Because sometimes prime factorization, you know, I gave you guys a whole worksheet to really practice with it. But it does kind of take a little bit of time sometimes. So a lot of times what I prefer to do is, rather than breaking it down into prime numbers, break it down into the largest number you know you can take the square root of, which we call our square numbers. So I can break down 32 into, um, I can break down 32 into 16 times 2. And then x to the fourth, um, I can break down into, again, we want to take it as terms we can take, which would be x squared, um, actually, yeah, you can just write it as, you can write x squared times x squared, I guess, times y squared. Well, the square root of 16 is 4. And actually, you know what? Let's write it like this. You can also write x squared squared. So therefore, you know the square root of x squared squared. If you wrote this as a square root, that would be x squared. And the square root of y squared is just y. And you're just left with? Two. Okay? You don't have to use that method. Um, however, sometimes prime factorization can take you a little bit of time.